स्टार्ट द प्रेजेंट अपील चैलेंजेस द इंट्रीम ऑर्डर पास्ड बाय द डिवीजन बेंच ऑफ द दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट इन रिट पिटिशन नंबर 618 ऑफ 2019 डेटेड 16 5 2019 देयर restraining the appellants herein from taking and oblique or continuing any action against the writ petitioner pursuant to the order dated 22-1-2019 under section 15 of the Black Money and Imposition of Tax Act 2015 within bracket hereinafter referred to as the Black Money Act bracket close passed by appellant number two herein a bare reading of the provisions of section 3 read with section 2 9 d of the black money act would unambiguously show that the legislative intent in so far as the ch charging tax on undisclosed asset located outside India is concerned is to charge the tax on its value in the previous year in which such asset comes to the notice of the assessing officer. The previous year in the present case would be a period of 12 months commencing on the first day of April of the relevant year and which immediately precedes the assessment year. It could thus be seen that section 3 read with section 2 9 D of the Black Money Act would permit the assessing officer while ass assessing the case of an SSC for assessment year commencing after 1-4-2016 to bring the undisclosed asset located outside India under the tax net on the value of the said property within a period of 12 months prior to the date on which such asset comes to the notice of the assessing officer. By virtue of these provisions, if such asset comes to the notice of assessing officer on 1-4-2016, he could charge such assets on the basis of its value as would be ascertained in a previous year ending on 31-3-2016. A parasol of section 3 of the Black Money Act would further reveal that which is relevant is the date on which the assessing officer notices the acquisition by an SSC of undisclosed asset located outside India. However, for the purposes of taxation, the value of such asset has to be ascertained as is in the immediate previous year. A parallel of section 59 of the Black Money Act would further reveal that an opportunity is given to the SSC to make a declaration in respect of any undisclosed asset located outside India and acquired from income chargeable to tax under the Income Tax Act for any assessment year prior to the assessment year beginning on 1-4-2016. Section 59 further provides that such a declaration has to be made on or after the date of commencement of the Black Money Act, however, before the date to be noticed by the central government. The central government in exercise of the powers under Section 59 of the Black Money Act published a notification on 1-7-2015 notifying 39-2015 as the date on or before which a person is required to make a declaration in respect of an undisclosed asset located outside India. It also notifies 31-12-2015 as the date on or before which 
द पर्सन सेल पे द टैक्स एंड पेनाल्टी इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ सच अनडिस्क्लोज एसेट लोकेटेड आउटसाइड इंडिया